Imagine my absolute delight when I found out there was going to be a documentary on Flat Earthers. And now imagine how much more delight washed across me when that documentary absolutely ruins them. Hello and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Before we begin today, a small correction from Tuesday's video just gone. In it, I mentioned how a plane's wing generates lift. Now, a combination of bad script writing and bad line reading meant I got it slightly wrong. Apologies for that one. However, the point I was trying to make is the same nonetheless. Now, being so close to Valentine's Day, I thought it was very appropriate that the documentary spent a lot of its time focusing on the flat earth power couple, Mark Sargent and Patricia Steer. In case you aren't sure who these two people are, Mark Sargent is the first guy who kind of made flat earth more well known. A lot of flat earthers won't admit that, but he kind of was. He's also the guy that leaves comments all over my videos about something to do with introducing Flat Earth to my subscribers or something like that. And Patricia Steer is the host of YouTube channel Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, which regularly guests Mark Sargent. She says stuff like this. This growing channel. Yeah. And it can't be Simon Dan. That's an no, insider joke. Simon <laughs> Dan. That's this growing oh. channel. Oh. And by that fastest growing channel for this year. Yes, of course. Right. With real subs. <laughs> so, the documentary. Let's check in with Mark and Patricia as they meet just before they go and visit the Space Museum at the Houston Space Center. This is the oh, entry. Whoa. Okay, this is impressive because of magnitude of size. Wait, we're the only ones here. Does everyone see how big this is? We're the only ones here. I'm going to say something that's never been uttered in any NASA facility ever. Oh, I can't wait. The Earth is flat! Yeah, she really did that. And it echoed. That was brilliant. What you're looking at is part of the greatest science fiction story ever told. What if mainstream science figured out that the world was not a globe? So Mark mouths off about the Saturn V rocket while some genius on YouTube puts a video together and laced it with the Inception soundtrack. By chance, I found this video shortly after it was released and I decided to make my own version. The link for that is in the description. It was one of my very first videos. But for now, here's a short clip. Cries of fake ISS, the ice wall and no curvature were pumped through the hose of the World Wide Web, allowing more to drink from their ill-educated waterhole. The flood of paranoia swept across the internet. Everything NASA had ever done was being ridiculed and mocked. Later on, the two of them are ruminating about their friendship. Being on with me doing The Secret Show has made your face more recognisable. And being on with you on Strange World was sort of a way that people got to know me a long time ago. So we've been having a lovely symbiotic relationship. Like a whale that has those smaller fish on it that like eats all the algae in the gills. Boy, I better be the whale in this story. <laughs> this was actually quite touching and I began to get a warmth from the two of them. Now usually, under normal circumstances, to me they're just flat earthers and they're wrong about a lot of things. But here, I just saw them as just another two human beings and believe it or not, a tinge of compassion tugged at my conscience. Patricia and I are going to be hosting the video awards show. But I don't want to go, can I just stay? You had a nice time, right? I did have a nice time. Yeah, I had a great time too. It was pretty fun. A really nice time. Hang on in there, buddy. We've all been there. Another thing this documentary accomplished well was talking about the experiments that the Flat Earthers have done. Flat Earth legend Bob from the Globebusters team decided he would try and get hold of an incredibly accurate gyroscope to try and prove that the Earth is motionless. The Earth spins 360 degrees in 24 hours, so it's fair to assume that if you use this gyroscope, there should be a 15 degree drift after only an hour. 
if we could simply get one of these ring laser gyroscopes, we would be able to prove once and for all that there is no rotation to the Earth. One of the people in the community actually purchased one for $20,000. Wow, you better hope this works, Bob. But what we found is, is when we turned on that gyroscope, we found that we were picking up a drift. A 15 degree per hour drift. Oof. Now, <laughs> obviously we were taken aback by that. Wow, that's kind of a, a problem, <laughs> right? Too right it's a problem. And guess what? They refused to accept the results. So they tried it again. This time encasing it in a gorse chamber as they thought the gyroscope was picking up the spin of the sky, not the earth. And guess what? Still a 15 degree drift. Here is Bob a little bit later on at a flat earther get together chatting to another flat earther. But the rotation is not looking good at this point. That's weird. That's so <laughs> we don't want to blow this, you know? Right, right. You're I mean, like, we've got $20,000 $20 in yeah. this freaking gyro. But yeah, if we, if we yeah. dumped what As we, we found right now, yeah. we would be, it'd be bad. <laughs> it would be bad. You don't say, Bob. Pretty catastrophic, if you ask me. So, Stress what I just up. told you is confidential. <laughs> and there, the Flat Earther shows his true colours, ladies and gentlemen. It might not be all bad for the Globusters team, though. Jaron has thought of an experiment, too. You have a backup experiment. If you're seeing through this hole, through the next hole, and seeing the light at the backboard, or at 17 feet off the water, the Earth is flat. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing the light, well, that's because the Earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. Oh, excellent. I've got my fingers crossed for you, Jaron. Team Globusters is counting on you. Okay, go ahead and drive down there, Enrique. You're going to hold the light there. Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. I mean, I, you know, it's his... Um... Oh, dear. It's not looking good, is it? There's, we don't see you, Enrique. Lift up your, lift up your light up, way above your head. Interesting. Interesting indeed, Jaron. And yet, this man still believes that the Earth is flat. Look at him. You can literally see the second that his heart is smashed to pieces with this experiment. I thoroughly recommend that you go and watch this documentary because overall, it's a nice story. You get to check out all the movers and players of the Flat Earth community in the US, and there's some lovely globe proofs as well on the way. It's out on Netflix today. It's called Behind the Curve. Go and check it out. Right, that about wraps up another episode of Flat Earth Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. What an episode it's been. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe. I have been Simon Dan. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Tuesday, where we'll have a look to see if Brian Cox has been caught out. See you then.